Hey all, it's me, Michael Anthony Judasissi, and welcome to All Things Billy the Kid. So, one of the things I learned in life, probably way too late, is that when you're wrong, or when I'm wrong, the best thing to do is say you're wrong, and not even wait till somebody calls you on it and says, hey, you were wrong. <laughs> and uh, I was wrong about Brushy Bill Roberts, and I'm going to get into what I was wrong about. But the, the bigger reason for this episode is to maybe uh, inspire other people to keep a more open mind, uh, to inspire them to stop the gaslighting and the goalpost moving that goes on in any <laughs> discussion about Brushy Bill Roberts, John Miller, photographs of Billy the Kid, purported photographs of Billy the Kid, and maybe figure out that you have opinions on things, but your opinions, while they may be facts to you, are not facts to everyone else. So, what was I wrong about as it relates to Brushy Bill Roberts? Well, let's have a look at the original tintype. This is the CDV, uh, done in about early 1880s, so anywhere between 1880 and 1885 of William H. Bonney. Now, I think that almost everybody here accepts that this is actually Billy the Kid. So let's look at the accepted photograph or tintype of Billy the Kid, and let's look at the physical characteristics. And here there are two that stand out, one of which we've discussed exhaustively, and that is the earlobes. And that's well, we'll come back to that. But let's look at the kid's dramatically sloping shoulders. Now, in this picture, um, we talked to Brandon Dixon recently, and based on some research by Drew Gomber and Scott Smith, we believe, although certainly not proven, that Billy might have been somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 years old when this was taken, about 18 years old. But that's pretty close to being full grown, fully matured and developed. Maybe it's 19, maybe it's 20 with some people. Well, with those dramatically sloping shoulders, we look at Billy and say, he doesn't really have a very strong frame. He's not, the clothes that he has, you know, are not the best fitting, but you can see that from the neck down, the shoulder slopes off, there's almost nothing <laughs> to kind of hold that sweater on. Now, let's take a look at Brushy Bill later in life. And you can see in these photos, that Brushy Bill, much stronger appearance, more square shoulders, and the skeletal structure, once it's complete in a, you know, in a human being, it doesn't change. Um, yeah, I mean, I get, you know, bones could break and those kind of things, but the, but the shape of the skeleton generally doesn't change. And so I've pointed to this as one key reason why Billy in the original tintype cannot be Brushy Bill. Um, and I believe that fervently because I've looked for examples of where you might find that uh, that would uh, be different or that would change, and I haven't found any until last week. So I'm going to introduce you to a friend of mine. We're going to call this friend Carlos. <laughs> That's not his real name. Um, and he is a friend of mine. I, uh, I know him in person. I know him from Facebook. And Carlos posted a picture of himself at the age of 19 with his then bride. And I'm going to put that picture up right now. You can see, now I, I know the, the, uh, the contrast of the resolution makes it a little tougher to see, but look closely. And you can see that Carlos is... Uh, similarly built as Billy in the authentic tintype. Dramatically sloped shoulders, way, way down. Now, I, it, to be fair, I did talk to Carlos, and he said, first of all, he said, yes, you can use the pictures. Second of all, he said that I was holding the flowers so it might accentuate the way that my shoulders looked a little bit, um, but he remembers himself being built 
like he is in this photograph at 19 years old. And so for me, I would look at that and go, wow, that's a very similar, at least upper body style, at least from you know, the chest up to Billy the Kid. The problem is, or not a problem, but the, the problem for my former theory is I know Carlos. I've seen many other pictures of him. I've seen him. And Carlos is not built at all like this anymore. Now in his late 40s. So here's a more recent picture of Carlos. And look at the shoulders. Much more square, much stronger, obviously, um, and dramatically different than the photograph of him at 19 years old. My belief was that Brushy Bill, one of the disqualifiers for Brushy Bill, was that there's just no way you go from these really sloping shoulders to these really strong square ones. It just can't happen. But it happened with Carlos. And I'll bet it happened with a number of other people. Now, to be fair, Carlos works. He does very, very specialized type of work. What it is is immaterial. But to be fair, he said, there are times I work for 12 to 15 hours a day with my hands over my head. And when I first talked to him about using these pictures, and I, I questioned him, I said, hey, do you notice this difference in you? Uh, but I talked to him about the, the photographs and told him a little bit about Brushy Bill. He said, was this a guy that, you know, because it's obviously a much earlier time, was he doing a lot of manual labor, farm work, baling hay, those kind of things? And I said, well, as a matter of fact, yes, in every census record, that we captured Brushy or Oliver Pleasant Roberts. He's a farmhand, he's a ranch hand, he's doing farm work. Um, so I would imagine that, yes, he's doing a significant amount of lifting, strength, inadvertent strength work, bailing hay, those kind of things. And, uh, and Carlos said, that's really what happened to me, is the work, the profession that I chose caused me to work with my shoulders, my upper body, quite a bit. And that led to the dramatic transformation that you see from the 19-year-old photograph of me to the 40-something-year-old photograph of me. So it can happen. And if you want to look back at the tin type of Billy and then contrast that with the frame or physique of Brushy, even if the skeleton, the skeletal shape didn't change, it's possible that the musculature, or as George Takei would say, musculature, what, <laughs> uh, that, that could make the appearance of the body change dramatically. So I said it couldn't happen, and I was wrong. It did happen, at least with Carlos, and if you believe that Brushy Bill is Billy the Kid, then it absolutely also happened with him. So there's my mea culpa. I'm guilty of jumping the gun on that and I want to set the record straight. Now, to all of the rest of my research about shape of ears, the, uh, the utility and usefulness of using ears as an identifier, that remains unchanged. A detached earlobe does not grow down the face and become attached in a straight line in the course of anyone's life without surgical intervention. And I have that word from experts in the field. So yes, people say, oh, the shape of my ears changed. Actually, no, the shape of your ears don't change from the time they're formed because they're of cartilage. They can lower on the face as the skin sags. The earlobes could sag, right? And the skin could sag, but uh, but the shape of the ear and the attachment point of the uh, ear lobe does not change. And that disqualifies Brushy Bill Roberts, amongst a number of other things, from being Billy the Kid. But this, this physical characteristic of Billy's dramatically sh sloping shoulders does not disqualify Brushy from being Billy the Kid because it does not <laughs> disqualify Carlos from being the same person in this picture as he is in this picture. So brushy 
I guess you still got to hope. <laughs> so not with me, but uh, who knows? Who knows what we'll find out tomorrow, right? And maybe tomorrow's discovery will eliminate one more of the uh, excluders of brushy Bill Roberts being Billy the Kid. You just never know. Um, and so I think it's a good lesson for all of you that have gotten it wrong or are so sure that you've gotten it right that you won't even look at the evidence that might be in front of you. I'm doing that each and every day with all the researchers that feed me materials. I'm looking for holes in the story. I'm looking for things that disqualify uh, people and facts from being true or purported facts from being true uh, because that's just my nature. And if I can't find any, then that means that what I'm looking at is probably real or probably true. Or something else could come up and change that at some point in the future. So, Billy's sloped shoulders do not disqualify Brushy Bill from being Billy the Kid. Um, what's next? I don't know. Tune into the next episode of All Things Billy the Kid and find out. Hey, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. That would be hugely helpful to me. Share the video out. And if you'd like to get some cool behind-the-scenes stuff, if you'd like to sit in live on our interviews with authors, researchers, historians, etc., um, all you need to do is join the channel, hit the membership button and sign up. You'll get uh, some very cool perks. You'll be invited along, if you're in the area, to come out on our, uh, um, our field trip, <laughs> filming field trips. All channel members are always invited there. And uh, we've got some filming field trips coming up this spring uh, all throughout New Mexico and maybe even one in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. New Jersey, that's the the home state of me and my good buddy, Martin Teebs. So anyway, thanks for joining me on this episode of Billy the Kid, all things Billy the Kid, and we'll see you next time. Bye.